Welcome to the Church of the Holy Trinity in Juneau, Alaska for Noonday Prayer. As Advent begins, we invite you to orient yourself to the coming of Jesus through the practices of journeying the way of love. This journey begins by saying yes to God's call to birth new life into the world, a call that is both powerful and gentle, a call that will, if fully embraced, grow beyond our imagination, spilling out of ourselves and into our own family, our communities, and into the world. For more Advent resources, visit trinityjuno.org. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory Glory to the the Father, Father, and to the the Son, and to to the Holy Holy Spirit, Spirit, as as it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so my soul longs for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, a thirst for the living God. When shall I come to appear before the presence of God? My tears have been my food day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where now is your God? I pour out my soul when I think on these things, how I went with the multitude and led them into the house of God. With a voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who keep holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan, from the peaks of Mizar, among the heights of Hernan. One deep calls to another in the noise of your cataracts. All your rapids and floods have gone over me. The Lord grants his loving kindness in the daytime. In the night season, his song is with me, a prayer to the God of my life. I will say to the God of my strength, why have you forgotten me? And why do I go so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? While my bones are being broken, my enemies mock me to my face. All the day long they mock me and say to me, where now? your God. And why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give thanks to him who is the help of my countenance and my God. Give judgment for me, O God, and defend my cause against an ungodly people.
today is from the book of Revelation. And to the angel of the church in Sardis write, These are the words of him who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works. You have a name for being alive, but you are dead. Wake up and strengthen what remains and, at, and is at the point of death, for I have not found your works perfect in the sight of my God. Remember then what you received and heard. Obey it and repent. If you do not wake up, I will come like a thief, and you will not know at what hour I will come for you. Yet you still have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their clothes. They will walk with me, dressed in white, for they are worthy. If you conquer, you will be clothed like them in white robes, and I will not blot your name out of the book of life. I will confess your name before my Father and before his angels. Let anyone who has an ear to listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment, a spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others as so many others have been examples to us through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. Let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. We pray today for our church, for our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, for the Anglican Church of Canada, for our bishop, Mark Bettine, and his family, in this diocese, St. Jude's Church of North Pole, and in this deanery, St. Peter's Church in Sitka. We pray for those in leadership positions, especially our president, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials. We pray for the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, and the Glory Hall. We pray for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic. We pray for all of the families affected by the tornadoes in the South. Especially today, we pray for Kathleen, for Terry, for Janice, Janet, Marilyn, Melody, for Savannah, Johanna, for 
for Janet, for Lena and Randy, for Linda, for David, for Mark, for Gail, for Bruce, for Jeffrey, and for Brad. We give thanks today for this community of faith, for music, for the coming Advent. We pray for the departed, especially for Lena Mae Simmons, mother of Arlene. We pray for all who have died during this pandemic. You may offer your intercessions and petitions at this time. As we continue our Advent walk, we invite you to see the way of love as a journey that can expand to include family and friends. Mary said yes to the call to birth Jesus, God's word, into the world, and immediately went in haste to share her good news with her cousin, Elizabeth, a four-day journey into the Judean hills. Isn't that what happens when we hear good news? We're driven to go tell others. The way of love is good news. It demands to be shared. Each day we reflect on one of the seven practices of the way of love. Turn, learn, pray, worship, bless, go, and rest. Today, set aside 30 minutes to spend in silence with your best friend. Sure, it may feel a little weird to be silent on the phone or while sitting next to each other on the couch or across the table. Just give it a try. Make sure to set aside time after your silence to pray for each other and to say thanks for that time of rest. May we never walk in solitude or fear, but the fellowship of the Spirit warm our hearts, the love of the Savior bring us joy and the shelter of the Father's arms forever to this say. Amen. 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 Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. May Christ dwell in our hearts by faith. Amen. Amen. Amen.